Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we are about to react to the Season 1 Battle Pass trailer. Let's get right into it. It's only a minute long, so... Jesus! Welcome to the all-new Call of Duty Battle Pass for Modern Warfare Jesus? 2. Jesus? Is that you? Warzone 2.0, featuring over 100 rewards. 100? Really? It's expanded to a full combat map. Oh my god. Far more tactical what choice. the hell? Strategize your path, targeting the rewards That actually want. is... That Simple actually looks kind of sick, not gonna lie. Your way to total domination. Ooh. Domination. Using the Battle Pass is yeah. simple. Play the game to earn Battle Token Tier Skips. So like Redeem usual. Battle Token Tier Skips to unlock rewards. Each combat sector contains five rewards. Complete this sector by unlocking that is actually kind of sick. Oh. Completing so you get like little, like little rewards, and then the big reward is on the thing. The high value target. Got it. Completing sectors will open new ones. Smart. Allowing you to choose your path through the map based on the rewards you want. So you can go anywhere you want. Complete. That's actually kind of sick. bonus rewards for total victory. The map includes 20 free items, including new functional weapons and Call of Duty points. Call of Duty points. To get access to over 100 total rewards, including new operators, no cares about operators. Blue prints are right. Call of Duty points. We get V bucks. Fuck yeah, baby. Beginning. Each season will bring new maps, new rewards, and new surprises. With the all-new Call of Duty Battle Pass. Oh! Victory is now in your hands. Nice. Um, I do like how it's not the linear. It's um, you can go anywhere you actually like. That's what I actually do like about that. People are saying good things about it. Surprisingly, nothing gets me more excited for a new game than knowing I have to grind out a hundred levels of the battle pass. No, it's actually not that bad though. I rather have a battle pass that you can grind because it gives you some like incentive to play as well. Like you got the camos, you got the prestige, and then you got the battle pass as well. So I think it's not that bad, and you don't have to buy it. Like you can get to level 100 and then buy it. But yeah, other than skill-based matchmaking, the game is fun. Man, I'm gonna make a video about this skill-based matchmaking because I I don't see this skill-based matchmaking anymore. In Cold War is terrible, but in this game, I don't actually find it bad. I might make a video on it. But yeah, but yeah, that's about it for the season one battle pass. It should be coming out tomorrow, so that'll be fun, and I'll post about it, of course, when it comes out. 